Yeah, yeah, slow down, man. Hey! <laughs> Oh shit, sorry mate, I've caught ya. He followed my buddy spinner bait in. I saw his tail. I saw his tail. He must have followed me in. He must have followed me spinnerbait all the way in. I only just got the last glimpse of him. A great big tail with white ends. Did he attack me spinnerbait or did he just follow it? Wow. Got him. I got him! I got him! Woohoo! Oh, got him! Got him. I got him! Look at the size of him! <laughs> Oh, Mr. Corker! Yeah, I'm going down. So am I. Um, can you give me a phone? Oh, no, I've got my camera in my pocket. I've got, I've got, I've got the grip seed, buddy, too. <laughs> oh, Mr. Corker! Look at this! Oh, yeah. I'm not joking. I'm going right out of the water. He hit it right there near the edge. Mate! Wait a minute. Holy <laughs> Oh! I've got a tape measure in my bag. Oh yeah, he's close back. You alright mate? Oh, can you do me a favour? Can you just hold him in the water? Yep. I'll go and grab my tape measure out of my bag. And look at that, 80 centimetre Murray cod. Oh, there. I don't think anyone's going to be seeing that release. <laughs> Righto, folks. That release obviously wasn't perfect. The idea was I was going to lower him into the water, open the grips, and he was going to swim away. But he gave an almighty kick, and being a good fish of around 20 pounds, possibly more, he has pulled out of the fish grips, fallen under the edge of the water and the edge of the ground, and he has taken off. He'll be okay. That release wasn't ideal. Ideally, I would have done it the way I wanted to do it, but these fish didn't evolve over millions of years by being soft and weak. That particular fish of that size and age would have survived droughts when this creek has completely stopped flowing. It would have survived bushfires. He's gonna be just fine. I am pumped and I apologize for the background noise because there's a pump right there. Hopefully if we get another one that size, we might just get a better release. <laughs> as soon as I saw this water low like this, we were in for a good night. Look at a gun oh, gun. Yep. Brett's on! Oh shit, good fish. Brett's onto a good fish. Not a carp, is it the way it's taken off? I think in your fair, I reckon you've felt like the carp. I hope I'm wrong, just watching it da dance around like that. Yeah, no, I think it's a carp. It's cool it's you never know. You never know. Just a bit of weight, but whatever it is. Just a hope. Oh, he's not darting around now, mate. He's just coming in like a dead weight, which is... Ooh. 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 No, I reckon... It's a cod. Good. It's a good cod, mate. Good cod. It's a good cod. Thank you. I've got me finally got me 55. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 50, mate. 
This time it's my turn to do. Oh, so I can walk out there, buddy. Is, oh, this, no. is he still snagged? Yeah, he's snagged good. I'll put my phone over there. Don't stand on it. I don't just, lose his fish for fuck's sake. Come on. <laughs> just keep the pressure on him, buddy, and I'll. No, I think he's a fucking dummy. Uh, there's a, I don't know, there's a lot of logs down there. Let's take this backpack off, mate. Can you just tuck that on the bank for me? It's wrapped around a heap of logs. Gotta be I joking. Felt, I felt tension on the logs. Oh yeah, good fish. 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 Nah, he's, he's, he's in the, he's, nah, he's in the mid 80s, Brett. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, my! Ha 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 ha! Let's get him out of the water. Oh, oh finally! I'll hold him in the water till you're ready to come and grab these grips and I'll get a oh. photo for you. Righty-ho. Oh, I finally, I've been fishing with Robbie for so long. He's just a legend of fisherman. <laughs> Two he, of us. He's got some... Awesome cod this year. He's got a couple well over the 80s. Um, he got a beautiful last week over 60 off the top. And I was only saying to Robbie, said, look mate, it's gotta be my turn eventually. And I finally got an 81 centimeter Murray cod. I am so stoked. Thank you, Robbie, for just for everything, mate. You're a bloody true mate. Oh. Oh. Hold him up, buddy, we're gonna... I am so happy. Oh. Oh, Brett, he is an absolute gem. How does that feel, Brett? Oh, mate, I'm just over the moon. <laughs> oh, so am I because I went for a swim and that's yeah. what I love to do. No, I'm just over the moon for you too, mate. Thank that you, is Robbie. 81 centimetres oh. of upland goo doo goodness, mate. That <laughs> is just fantastic. Okay, put beautiful girl back in, mate. She's, oh, yeah, she's very, she's very happy to go. See you later, beautiful. Lovely. There it goes. Right. Mate, I am so happy for you. Thank you, Robbie. That is, uh, <laughs> this is the sort of night the dreams are made of. Oh, two, it is. Two Murray cod over 80 centimetres. Mate, we've been fishing, what, last three, four months? We must have been out a hundred times oh. this season, and this night just pips them all. Mate. Oh. <laughs> what? Snag? Did you lose it? Yeah, not as close to it as I probably should be. You can probably actually climb down to it. Ooh, ooh, a little one about 30 centimetres. Yeah, it's only a little one about 30 centimetres long coming and hit it twice. Right near me feet then. I saw the fish. Yeah, he hit it and went, oh, and then he hit it again. He was only really small. He was a normal size. No, no, ever. Got him. That was just a return to reality, mate. <laughs> can, you, uh, can you just move over? I'll go down there and we'll lift him out so I can whip my hands down there. Robbie, here's Robbie with the knife. Oh, he's trying to be bigger than 30. No, not much. No. 30, 35. 30, 35. Right there. Well done. Right there, folks. Here I have our regular, our regular size Murray cod of around 30 to 35 centimetres, which took this big bassman. 4x4 four four spinnerbait 
and is a reminder of uh, how effective even large spinnerbaits can be. I just got that 80 centimetre Murray cod on that spinnerbait five minutes ago. About 20 pound, and now this one about a pound, pound and a half has hit the same lure. There you go, buddy. Unbelievable. And there's the, the lure that's doing all the damage. I said this in a video once before, and I reckon it's true. A fish that size is probably just going for the, the fish, the tail, the body. Whereas the big fish probably sees these blades as being little bait fish or something swimming around, and he's trying to get them all. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Might not be right, but it works. <laughs> I wonder, you know, there's a fair bit of rain in the forecast this week, coming early next week. I wonder if the fish just know. Like the ants know, there's a million ants everywhere we've sat tonight or whatever, there's been ants everywhere. The ants know that the rain's coming, that's why they're active and they're building their nests up. I wonder if the fish know and that's why they're going and feeding like mad before the front comes through and... I wonder if they know that the air pressure's about to drop and all that sort of stuff. Dude, I love this time of night. Ah, oh, it's just a beautiful time of night. I went out today just to get some milk and it took me about two hours to get back. It took me ages, you know why? On the way home, I stopped and ate the clock out of my car and it was just so time consuming. I was pretty ticked off that it took me so long. <laughs> but I tell you what, though, I still went back for seconds. <laughs> I've been thinking that all night, Brent. I've been working on that since we got here, you know.